Second in popularity to the African gray parrot, the yellow-headed Amazon parrot is among the most sought-after breeds of parrot. They've caught the attention of parrot lovers because of their striking coloration. Their feathers are bright yellow on their head with a brilliant green coloration over the remainder of their bodies with the exception of a red patch on each wing. They're typically 14 to 15 inches in length, and this makes them one of the largest of the Amazon parrot species. The wingspan is about 8 to 9 inches. You can find them in the coastal regions of Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, and the northwestern Amazon basin. They prefer tropical or subtropical forests where trees are available for nesting. You can find them in savannas and mangrove swamps as long as there are established trees in the area. In past years, you could obtain these magnificent birds through a broker that dealt in parrots from South America. However, they're now on the endangered list because much of their native nesting areas have been destroyed with deforestation that has occurred as civilization has slowly moved into their natural habitat. Now, if you want a yellow-headed Amazon parrot, you'll have to find one that's been bred in captivity. Like all parrots, they're quite pricey, but that goes with the territory. The African gray parrot is one of the most intelligent parrots, and the yellow-headed Amazon is a close second. They're good talkers as a general rule. These parrots are very social and very, pro, very vocal and prone to screeching and squawking. In fact, if you're looking for a quiet companion, then the yellow-headed parrot is not the one to pick for you. They seem to be especially vocal in early morning and at dusk. The good news is that they are great imitators. With proper training, you can get them to talk. Additionally, they need a large assortment of chewing toys and branches to curb their natural inclination to use their beaks for grasping and climbing. They have an active nature and are rarely shy around strangers. Very friendly parrot, and it's known to get along with other parrots because of their very social nature. In the wild, you actually can see them flock together in large groups that can exceed a hundred birds. Their antics and comical nature will keep you laughing. They are very strong natured, and they need an owner with a similar personality. Their intelligence can be a blessing and a curse. Their intelligence makes them easy to train, but they also can be stubborn in their nature and they'll test their owners. However, their intelligence means that you have to keep them engaged because they can actually become easily bored. It's suggested to raise them in an enclosure like an aviary because they love to fly and exercise and they're very active. While this is not possible for most parrot lovers, they will adapt well to a very large cage as long as you offer them daily exercise. They love to climb, so make sure their cages have enough room for branches and perches. Their diet consists of leaf buds, blossoms, berries, nuts, fruits, pellet food, and vegetables. In the wild, they can be pests because the flocks will raid agricultural crops. Want more information? Here are a few choices. My website is www.learnaboutparrots.com. Your first option at my website is a complete ebook called Raising Polly, the complete everything you need to know about parrot care book with two bonuses. The first is an audio version of the book, and the second is a book with 12 simple parrot tricks that you can teach your bird in easy to accomplish steps. The second option is a 10 part mini course on the secrets to parrot care, and the best part is it's free. Go to my website now, www.learnaboutparrots.com. Really, it's free. Do it now.